This is Madden 24 Superstar mode, and I'm gonna beat it in this video. But first, I want to thank EA for letting me capture this early access footage. This video is presented by the EA Creator Network, and the gameplay I captured is on a work in progress build, so what's being shown is subject to change. Anyways, I'm known for NCA Football Road to Glories, and the Madden version of that seems to be Superstar mode, so I'm hoping this game mode gives us an idea of what Road to Glory could be like in the new NCA Football game next year. I know absolutely nothing about it going into this, besides the fact that if I don't win a Super Bowl by the end of the video, I'll be giving away a copy of Madden 24 to a random commenter. To start it out, I think it's best if we go with a quarterback, so I had to make some edits, but I think this looks pretty similar to me. The hardest part about this is I'm going to be coming in at 5-9, and it looks like we have two options to choose from, but I think showdown's the online mode. So for this video, we're going to start with the league, and when the cutscenes come up, I'm just going to let them play. We're here to answer all of your questions about Cap. Will he be a bust or a superstar? Everything I've seen from him on the field, and the things I've heard about how hard he grinds, or see, it feels to me that he can be the next superstar. I believe he's a bust, and I don't know how y'all can say this young kid is about to be that dude very quickly. Listen, we build guys up quick. It's just the nature of the business. And from what we've seen of him in college, I don't think it's out of the question to say he's next in line. We all know and play with guys that balled in college, went to the league, and couldn't meet expectations. Now, that's a long list, a list as long as the guys that Freddie T left in the dust. And caps the next one on that list. Well, the combine will tell us a little bit more than we need to know about this prospect. Well, when we get out of Indy, I'll reevaluate. But right now, I'm not sold on Cap. Well, Chan, you know what they say. They say stars are created, not born. And we'll be here from start to finish on Madden Cap. Hey, Cap. Hey, Nat. Man of the hour has arrived. Bet you're excited to finally get on the field tomorrow. I'm and meet now. you. I've been preparing for this moment my entire life, ever since I set my eyes on a football. Day in, day out. Now, I'm ready to put on a show. Listen, I have no doubts about what you're going to do tomorrow. I just remember, everything you say off the field and everything you do on the field will account for you moving either up or down teams' draft boards. Just say it. Only up. Believe me. No other option. Only up, exactly. All you got to do is focus on balling out. And in the background, I'll be building your brand. I appreciate you being on my team. Of course. And make sure you get some rest. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you at the Combine. And tonight. All right, so it looks like the first thing I'm going to do is play the NFL Combine. Welcome back to coverage of the NFL Draft Combine. The quarterbacks are in action here today, and right out in front there, leading the rest of the QBs onto the field, is one of the most intriguing prospects in this year's draft. Even after a junior season with 4,600 passing yards, 50 total touchdowns, and over 600 yards on the ground, there are still some scouts who question whether Cap is a day one starter in the NFL. How things go today will definitely impact the way things play out on draft night. Yo, what's up, Brooke? Hey, Chad. What you doing here, man? You making a comeback or something? For the record, I still had the best feet in the league right now if I got that call. But nah, man. EA wants me evaluating you rookies every step of the way to get your rating looking right. Oh, uh, well, listen. Let me save you some time. 99, right out the gate. Come on, let's make a little history, Chad. Chad, please. That ain't happening. I've already got an OVR in mind for you, but depending on how you perform today, I might be able to toss you some skill points. Well, listen, get your skill points and your popcorn ready, Chad. So I'm going to have to complete some drills, and the first one is bench press. In real life, there's no way I'm ever benching 225, so if I could do it even once, that'd be great. All right, let's get another rep up there. Come on. Oh, gosh, I'm really bad at this. Come on, at least get three pushed through it. There we go. We are going to act like that was not the worst finish on the board by far, and I'll just make up for it with the 40-yard dash. I think this is our chance to really set ourselves apart. All right. That was a perfect start. EA loved that. EA absolutely loved that. Come on, keep up the speed. Keep up the speed. That is going to be a good finish. A 4-4 is amazing. And we ended up even beating out Anthony Richardson. That jumped me up to a late first round projected pick. And with three more left, now we have the broad jump. I am very short, so my expectations for this one are not very high. I still ended up going kind of far. And we'll see how this stacks up against the competition. Well, 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 number two on the board is incredible. And now we have the 20-yard shuttle. I did not read the directions going into this one, so it could be a bit rough. We got the countdown going already, and what do I need to do? I need to cut, so I'm pointing up. That was not the best of ones. Now I need to rapidly press that button, cut again. That was a lot smoother, and you know what? 
that should be pretty high. The combine is just making our draft grade go up even higher. And the last thing we get to end with is quarterback drills. I just need to throw it inside the circle. So this shouldn't be too difficult. And that is a dot. I've been perfect with pretty much all of them, but that throws a little off the mark. So I need to make sure that on this last one, I put it right on the money and that's what I needed to see. This is about what we expected to see from Cap here today. No heads were turned by this performance, but it's hard to imagine his draft stock taking a hit either. Another day of coverage here in Indianapolis is in the books, and it's still anyone's guess how things will play out in Kansas City on draft night. Hey there, my man. Man, you putting in a lot of hours. So tell me, how'd I do? Listen, I'm glad you asked. Look, I know you've been at it all day, but we got one more game to play. Guess your rating. So tell me, Rook, what do you think your OVR is going to be in Madden 24? Hmm, I'd say it's probably going to be a 75 just being realistic, so we'll see what he says. But not for long. I'll be getting better every day. Hey, I appreciate the modesty. Not the case with most rookies. Alright, so what's my grade then? And hey, what about those skill points you were talking about? Well, based on your performance today, I'm going to give you a little something that can boost your rating. I'll take it. But hey, it's only a matter of time till I hit that 99, Chad. Alright, well... Handy your business then, fam. It's all on you. Next up, it says we have the combine interview, and Natalie is warning us that we shouldn't do it, but I'm going to participate anyways. It says they're going to put my NFL knowledge to the test, and I'm not going to lie, after seeing this already, it could be a long day for me. I'm just going to say five, but it doesn't tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm pretty sure this one is the Walter Payton Award, and we all know that Richard Sherman was on the cover of Madden 15. As for cities that have never hosted a Super Bowl, I'm just going to throw it out there and say Chicago, and each conference has 16 teams. Field goals are worth three points. That's 19. The Colts ended up playing in Baltimore before they moved to Indianapolis. And we got more quick math here. We got seven plus two plus six, and that is going to give us 15. As for the Steeler running back that put in the catch on the immaculate reception, I'm just going to go with Bettis. I have no idea here. I'm pretty sure I have this one though. I think it's Eddie George on Madden 2001. And I'm pretty sure you have a challenge for each half. So two throughout the entire game. It says that I got eight out of 10 correct, but I don't know which ones I missed. So if you know what they are, make sure to let me know in the comments. Next on the list, we're going to find out which team ends up drafting me. We've got the next generation of NFL stars waiting to hear their names called. And this is shaping up to be one of the most unpredictable first rounds in recent memory. Big day's finally here. Can't beat that draft night feeling. Hey, life is good, Natalie. I'm at the NFL draft. Pretty crazy knowing my whole life is about to change. It is crazy, but you've earned it. And to give you some perspective on this moment and mentorship throughout the season, I brought you a surprise guest who might even help you loosen that death grip you got on your phone. Oh, you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Well, I wonder who they brought in. timing. Is that Dion? Right, doing, hey. They What's got him all the coach? way from Colorado. Yes, it is. Coach Prime. Man, you know what? It's really nice to meet you. After seeing what you did at the combine, I knew I had to reach out. Fortunately, we got a mutual friend. Hey, now. So tell me. You got to right stay away from her. Any advice for me? She's I mean, nobody mine. better than Coach Prime to help me take it to the next level. Well, you got to relax first and foremost. Enjoy the night, but as soon as it's over, oh, we back to work. And as a two-sport athlete and successful college coach, I think he speaks from experience. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be here to celebrate you, but I'm also going to challenge you. So tell me what you're going to be working on as soon as you hit the facility. Probably making sure I'm just focused on being a super fast player. I want to keep improving on what I'm already great at. I separate myself from everybody else. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that. Now, you know I keep it 100 at all times. <laughs> Deal. Well, listen, it's about that time. Draft's about to start. Only a matter of time, Cap. Yeah, we're good. I got a feeling you won't be waiting much longer. Making moves over there? Females always have Man, that intuition. Phone's ringing. Hey, coach. All right. It looks like I'm a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Will I be the next Tom Brady? I guess we'll find out. And that's a wild coincidence because I just moved to Tampa in real life like four or five months ago. We'll see what happens, but it looks like I leveled up and got a bunch of different rewards. And now I'm about to learn about what skill points are. I'm pretty sure it's just how you upgrade your player in this game. And with 69 throw power, we need to boost that up immediately. Unfortunately, I can't equip any abilities just yet because for the X Factor ones, I have to complete one of these three challenges. So for now, we have a long way to go and I think this is when the NFL season should be starting. I guess I should probably sign a contract before we get that far ahead of ourselves. Hey Cap, it's good to have you back in the building. Good to be back. And Miss Day, it's good to see you again. Likewise, Mr. Hunter. Look, we got some great times ahead of us. 
But let's get some business out of the way first. Good with you? Absolutely. Since we met back in March after the Combine, we've been hoping we had this opportunity to get you here full time. I felt the same way. This is where I wanted to be. Good. So, the terms of the deal are what we discussed early in the week. But I'll tell you what, why don't you take a look at the contract one last time before we sign? 15 mil for four years to play the game I love. Who says no to this? As the 19th pick, I have got to sign it. I think we're all good. Yeah, all good. Let's get to it. Let me be the first one to formally welcome Cap, not only to our city and this amazing organization, but to a brotherhood that is the NFL. Honored to be here. I'm ready to rep this city. Let's make it official and get a picture of you two. Take a look, Cap. Mr. Hunter, over here. Over here, Cap. Looking good, Cap. So we got weekly activities with on-field drills, bonus workout, and it seems like there's a lot going on. The one thing that's important to note, though, is apparently I've already beat out Baker Mayfield for the starting job. I don't know how I did that. I know he's pretty terrible, but it looks like I can choose which mini game that I want to play. And I chose to go with the pass skeleton. There's a minute on the clock, so I need to be quick with this, and I'm glad to see that I have Chris Godwin and Mike Evans on this team. That should make it a lot easier to be successful here in Tampa Bay, and we should be able to get into the end zone right here. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I've been struggling, and that was a terrible throw for me to make. I play football games for a living and I still can't complete passes to an amazing receiving core. So at the end of the day, I finished with the bronze medal. Not great, but I can hit this bonus workout. And I thought that I was going to have to play this game mode, but I can just select it and it gives me the bonus no matter what. As for the no spare time, it seems like I've already done too much during the day. So I guess it's time to play my first game. On the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa. Tonight, we kick off the preseason with a good match up right out of the gate as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Charles Davis alongside me and I'm Brandon Gordon and folks the wait is over yes it's just the preseason but football is back in your living room and I'm excited I know you are as well all I'm gonna say is this camera angle is incredibly intimidating I'm gonna throw the curl route and that is going to be a completion wait he broke free Russell Gage is going are we going to score a touchdown? I did not deserve that there. But you know what? When you can't make a tackle, we're going to take those. As for the next drive, it looks like I can set goals. And I went with 25 rushing yards. So I'm just going to take off to the outside and we're just going to see me go. I have a lot of speed on my quarterback, so I know I can pull this off. And with a few more completions, we're moving the ball down the field very well. I'm going to find somebody in the back of the end zone. What a throw. I'm not sure I should have been able to pull that one off, but now it is third and goal. They are in man-to-man -man coverage and Mike Evans is going to hold on to it. They're taking us off the the field at the one yard line though and since it's the preseason that was the last time i stepped on the field not a bad stat line for one quarter at all though and now i have some new league tabs available where i can see stuff going on around the nfl along with select custom celebrations but unfortunately i don't get the gritty automatically that one is going to cost me a pretty penny i can change our team jerseys though so i'm going to give us the orange sickle ones and i love that this is a feature they're actually allowing me to customize quite a bit and the custom visor i unlocked fits the florida weather perfectly i guess we can only play one preseason game as now it's telling me to advance to the regular season. And the first thing on my schedule now is brand focus. I'm not sure if there's going to be any cutscenes for this, but I'm going to do the one where I dance. And I guess that was it. All of these options remind me of the old NCAA football road to glories where you could choose boost based on the decision you make. And this could end up getting tedious, but most of these you don't end up even playing. As for the one drill I can though, I wanted to do target passing. And I'm not sure exactly how this is going to go, but I'm just going to throw the ball and that was too high. This seems like it's going to be extremely difficult to do as I can barely hit a target. And I guess you got to get real creative with lofting it. I'm certainly not perfect at this, but I feel like I'm doing a decent job. And for the last throw, I'm going to go all the way for that back target, but I'm not even going to get close. I didn't even end up getting a medal in this. So in the future, I'll just sim those drills. Before the regular season starts, the last thing I have to do is choose our season mission. And they're saying this is aggressive, but I'm going for 30 passing touchdowns. I'm ready to get into our game against the Vikings. And I told you all, my goal was to win a Super Bowl this season. If we're going to do that, there's no way that we can lose our first game and 
and Mike Evans is going to be my go-to target. I'm known for throwing interceptions, so I am going to try to avoid doing that. I think the best way for me to do so is just taking off with my fast scrambling legs. And here on third and four, I'm going to take my time in the pocket, but the throw is going to be inaccurate. We ended up having to just take our three, and that means on this drive, we really do need to get a touchdown, but they sent the blitz. I'm not going to lie, their defense is tough, and I have no time in the pocket. So on this third and long, I'm just going to step up in the pocket, throw up a prayer to Russell Gage, and somehow he ended up coming down with it. I'm going to be completely honest, that blows my mind, but what are these inaccurate throws? Due to them, we had to take another field goal, but I'm trying to end the first half with a touchdown, and if this is a perfect pass, we should be able to get at least a field goal. It turns out coach is already taking me off the field, and I guess it was smart for us to take our three again, but I set a season goal for a lot of touchdowns, and I don't think I'm going to get them. From this camera angle, it's just extremely difficult to move the ball, and so near the end of the third quarter, we're now trailing the Vikings by four, but I think we're about to score. I have Mike Evans on a slant, who I'm just going to immediately throw it to and now we're back on top our defense got to stop too so now we can simply just run the ball and i might be able to break free here come on I might have the speed. We just need one block there. I did not expect to take this one all the way to the house. But you know what? You can see me celebrating with my sick visor. And this is where all that time in NCAA football running the option is really going to pay off. I have the speed to pull off massive runs. And that's going to be another first down. And at the end of the day, we need one first down to seal our win. And this camera angle is terrible. We're going to be forced to just take our three. And thankfully, the Vikings did not score. Our Super Bowl run starts here in week one. And I'm going to be getting a ton of rewards throughout this season. In fact, now I can equip my first ability, which is QB Playmaker, and I think this means I can decide what type of catch they end up making. I'm also going to boost throw power again and medium throw accuracy, so even though I can't upgrade speed, I think I'll be fine because I'm starting at 90. If we're being completely honest, I did not belong in this quarterback graphic, but they're hyping me up, and now I have to go through and get all of our boosts, which include making me even faster than I already am. If we lose to the Bears, I'm going to be very upset, but apparently they ended up signing Dalvin Cook. We're wearing some of the best jerseys in the game. And here on the first drive, we're already starting in good field positioning. I'm just going to take off and I should have probably slid. All right, we got a play action here. I'm rolling out again this time. I mean, I might as well just run it in. And you might as well call me Lamar Jackson. I am having far more success running the ball than throwing the ball as that's somehow a draw. And I'm going to see if I can switch to the Ravens playbook because I think that's going to be far more effective. I'm going to end up throwing the first interception of the season and I just need to get up, make a tackle. Come on, someone just end up bringing him down. I am one for seven right now and I'm just going to throw this one up to Mike Evans. They tried to press him. That was a beautifully placed ball, and he's going to take it all the way into the end zone. I love having such an amazing receiver on my team. 18 seconds left before the half. We need to get at least a field goal. I had no time, and in that situation, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do, but that ball's thrown a bit high, and because that went so poorly, I'm going to begin the third quarter with a great drive that's going to put us up by two possessions. I have somebody wide open over the middle, and I just need to hit a bullet pass, but for some reason, it floats in the air for so long. That's another pick. And here in the fourth quarter, I have the ball in a terrible position. We just need to get it out as soon as possible. This is when our rushing attack starts, and I'm just going to take it on the read option, do a spin move, and I'm only going to get about 10. But they can see that the threat is there, and if I'm being honest, I don't think they're going to be able to stop me. The only thing that's going to hurt us is holding penalties. But at the end of the day, we have worked the clock all the way down. I handed this one off to Rashad White, and he's going to take off. I don't think he'll make it to the end zone. But at this point, you can pretty much say that it is game over. And I'm going to get greedy and get myself a passing touchdown to my Mike Evans. Well, that was dumb as we ended up getting held to three, but we're still going to end up winning, and I'm not sure how we got to 24 points. I ended up rushing for 171 yards, though, and I guess throughout Sim, the game gave me an extra touchdown pass. Because of all that, Coach Walsh wants to talk to me, and here we have another cutscene. Yeah, one more, one more. You got it. Yeah, all you. There you go. Good work. There's the man I was looking for. Good work, out, kid. How we doing, Cap? It is just Cap, right? Yeah, you got it right. All good here, Coach Dub. Good stuff, kid. You've been building a lot of trust in a short amount of time. Keep it up. Well, on that note, possible to get some extra reps in this week. Of course. What are you trying to get better at? I'll say attacking cover one because we've seen a lot more of that. And because I said that, they've put me in practice to specifically beat cover one, which shouldn't be too hard to do. I literally took Mike Evans on a slant every play, and that was the easiest thing I have ever done. It is the first gold medal that I've gotten in this video. And now we're ready for game day against the Eagles. It's a Monday night matchup, and I'm not sure how we're going to do. It might be our first loss of the season. But this first drive has gone pretty well, and here on third 
down. I'm not seeing anything open, so I'm going to run around in the pocket, and my legs are incredible. With the threat of using them again, it should be pretty easy to complete this to Mike Evans, but I'm getting taken out on fourth and inches, and I don't understand why, because we ended up going for it and getting it. That is why it is 10 to 7 right now. We need to pick up this third and 10, though, and that's great pocket awareness. However, Chris Godwin tried to only use one hand, so here in the third quarter, we are trailing, but I like the tight end on this corner route, and that is going to be a beautiful throw. I'm thankful that our defense has kept us in it, but for some reason, I am struggling to hook up with my teammates, so the fact that we continue to get stops is massive, and that's a nice run there. We're going into the fourth quarter up by four, and this is where I typically begin to run the read option because it ends up working out so well for us. However, after a bad play and a holding call, we are stuck on a third and 26, which I'm assuming we're not going to pick up, but there's a chance we could, and that throw is going to get there. With this camera angle, it is so hard to tell when something's successful and when something's not, but I feel like we can run down most of the clock, and on the read option, I'm going to be wide open. I think I'm going to be able to make it into the end zone. Come on. That is another touchdown in my name, and the Eagles did score, but if we pick up one first down, it is over, so that makes this a massive third and eight where I'm going to throw it over to the tight end, and it's inaccurate. Our defense must have bailed us out again, though, because we have the ball up by three on the goal line, and I do wish it was a little bit easier to see all the things that happened in Sam. 3-0 and is not where I thought this team would be, but you know what? I rushed for almost 100 yards again, and with two more upgrades, my throw accuracy is going to be even better. What's even cooler is there is a new home in my activities list, and that means we're getting another cutscene. What's good, Matt? What's good is the new spot I've hooked you up with. Okay. Got a nice crib set up for me? Only the best for the league's most promising rookie. Keys will be coming your way soon, and hotel life will be a thing of the past. I like the sound of that. I'm ready to get settled in. Well, I think you'll be really happy with the place I got set up for you. And this is only the start of your journey. You're better welcome you anytime. The better home will be able to get you in. To and come over. that, come plenty of perks. At 3 a.m. Exactly what an elite athlete needs. Always coming through for me. Thanks again, Nat. Of course, Cap. Talk soon tonight. Well, I thought we'd see it, but maybe that comes later in the future. And hopefully I don't struggle against the Saints like Tom Brady always did. I think for this one, I am just going to roll out in the pocket and scramble as much as I can. I want to get up the rushing yards to like 150. But if they're going to run man-to-man -man coverage on Mike Evans, I'm going to take that all day. He is literally a cheat code. I am so glad I got drafted by the Bucks, and now I can just scramble on in. But evidently I slid a bit short, so we're going to have to go for the pass and I didn't see anything. As for my celebration, it looks like I'm dancing and I should really stop that right now. But maybe at this point in the the season, I'm getting closer to unlocking the gritty, so I need to check up on that. Here on third and 11, I have a feeling that we're going to end up settling for a field goal, but you know who is always wide open, and I'm telling you, this guy makes my life 10 times easier. No matter the route, I can trust him to get open, and even here, there were two guys on him at one point, but he still came down with it, and now he has double me, so I'm just going to target him, and that was such a bad throw. I should not have turned that one over. It's very upsetting, but you know what? We're still starting the third quarter with a lead, and I'm just going to roll out. Somebody is wide open, and I guess Russell Gage Jr. is just going to take it all the way to the end zone untouched. I don't know what happened to the man on him, but he must have gotten extremely confused. And the longer I play this game mode, the more I feel like we might actually be able to make a playoff run. I mean, Mike Evans holds on to everything. And for the first time ever, we are just blowing the other team out. My only complaint can be that I didn't hit 150 rushing yards, but I think I'm at like 120 and this might actually get us all the way there. I knew it was going to be close and I just hit the right threshold. So when you look around the league, I am leading the NFL and rushing yards, and I'm also on one of the six teams that is still undefeated up to this point. Nat also wants to discuss brand representation, so we'll see what's up. Hey, Nat, what's cooking? I call with good news, Cap. I like the sound of that. What kind of good news are we talking? Well, as we predicted, your play on the field this season has some high-profile brands looking to get you in their gear. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. The sneaker world has taken an interest in you. Am I getting my own kicks? I can see that in the future, but first... Why don't you tell me which brand you want to rep? Since I have to make a choice, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Jordan brand. Any athlete will be proud to rep this iconic brand. Sign me up. Okay, great. Let's make this happen. Natalie Day, coming through in the clutch. Appreciate you. Keep up the good work. And I'm sure in the future they'll tell us more about that. For now, I have another ability slot open though, but evidently I can't select any of them because my overalls aren't high enough in any of these stats. I really want the arm talent one though, so we need to save up four skill points to get there. I've enjoyed most of superstar mode so far, but I will say all of this is getting pretty tedious because at least for the cred ones, no matter what you select, it's pretty much all the same. We do have some nice boosts going up against the Lions though, and if Dan Campbell's team is the one that ruins our winning streak, I'm I'm going to be very upset.
upset, but it could happen. For whatever reason, on this first drive, I've just struggled to figure out this defense, and they're clamping us up. I should not have thrown an interception there. I just threw it to Mike Evans. And up to that point, I hadn't had an incompletion yet, but now my track record has been a little bit ruined. He's going to get a big gain here, though. So you know what? We should be okay. I think I'm going to just step up in the pocket here and take off. There's a lot of green grass in front of me, and that's an easy 20 yards. Once you get far enough down the field, you know that you're just going to be able to get into the end zone. And what a beautiful shot this is of Raymond James Stadium. I'm hoping that we're able to end the half with some points. I'm just going to take off with myself, and I'm going to go for a little bit of a spin move here. It did work, but not as much as I would have liked. We did accidentally run it, and it went for 20 yards. So we keep getting closer to finding the end zone, and here on third down, we are going to have a bad throw. Coach is taking me off the field in this situation, and I'm not happy that we played that so passively, but I'm going to try to take off, and they have some good spies. As my rushing yards have started to go up game by game, it has been a lot harder to take off as they continue to keep up with me. And nearing the end of the third quarter, we are trailing by seven. They have sent blitz after blitz, and I can't do a thing. This third down is massive, and I have a player in mind that I want to throw it to, Russell Gage, who's going to find himself not open at all. That's going to be another interception for me. So with about three minutes left, time is not going to be on our side. I'm just going to have to take these one-on-one -on -one routes to Mike Evans. And I'm not afraid to scramble if it's open, as we could get a huge gain here, and I might as well just dive in. Come on. I don't think they're going to be expecting this, but the halfback screen should work. That is an easy touchdown, and it's time to see if our defense can get the ball back. Well, we have 39 seconds left, no timeouts, and I guess we need to be shooting for the sidelines, if anything. That's what that throw is going to be. And I see the double me animation on Mike Evans, which means I am throwing this ball up to him all day. That is one-on-one -on -one coverage. Come on, buddy. Come down with that ball. Wait, he broke free from the tackle too, and he's going to take it into the end zone. I cannot believe he just did that. And we did not deserve to win this game, but you know what? I came away with a decent stat line. The one thing I need to be better at is trying to hit this season goal. So I'll be gunning for passing touchdowns against the Falcons, who are three and three. What I learned from the last game is double me is super effective. So I'm going to be targeting Mike Evans a ton, and we just need him to have multiple 20 yard receptions, which I think he's already going to have. Evidently, one of them wasn't enough, though, as I don't see the orange icon X underneath him. I'm just going to scramble, take off here, get an easy 30 yards with my quick little legs. And I feel like this drive has been the fastest we have moved down the field so far in this thing. One thing I've noticed is our defense continues to do a fantastic job. They've held Atlanta to zero points so far. I'm going to throw up a bomb to Chris Godwin, and he is going to come down with it. The more I play Madden 24, the better I'm getting at passing, and I'm just going to sling it over the middle to Mike Evans. So on this next drive, you can see it. Double me is activated, and I don't think I would have been able to pull it off there, but I'll just take off with my legs instead because that's going to be an easy 30, 40 yards. And I'm not sure where the X Factor Orange X is on him right now, but I don't care. I'm going to still throw it up to him, and you know that he's always going to get it. No offense to the Falcons, but their defense simply just did not come to play today. And because of that, we're going to cruise to what should be our sixth win of the season, keeping us undefeated on the year. With three minutes left, it's clear we're going to hold on as we just need to run out the clock, and I handed it off to Raheem Mostert. It is nice having so much speed on this team. He's going to take off, and I think he's going to get caught here at the end of his run. But he has put us in a position to get yet another touchdown pass for the stats, and that was simply just a bad read. Getting greedy only ended up hurting my stats in the end, but it looks like I'm going to get a sponsorship anyways. Nat says that Oakley wants to partner with me, and I was hoping for a cutscene there, but instead we're just going to be jumping into our game against the Bills. If our undefeated run was ever going to end, now would probably be the time as we are playing this one in Buffalo, but at least my legs still work well. And I have to say, there have been a ton of penalties in Madden 24. It seems like on almost every other run play, there's one that's thrown for either team, so I'm not sure if that's something that's a glitch, but I'm not going to complain as we are inside the 10-yard line, and here on third and goal, I'm just going to roll out. I need our legs to carry us all the way, but I was stopped inches short, and I should probably hand this one off, but I'm taking Mike Evans on the zig route. Who holds on to it? Our defense is stopping Josh Allen, which has been really surprising to me. But on this drive, they've also been clamping me up and I can't get a throw out. By the start of the third quarter, we're trailing by seven and they've done a great job. I just need to escape the pocket here. They have a quarterback spy. So you can see why I'm struggling as their defense is just doing everything right. I don't see anybody open besides maybe R1 and he's short. This was supposed to be an offensive shootout, but with about three minutes remaining, we are still in a 10 to seven game. And thank goodness we just picked up that third and 16. What a clutch throw. Russell Gage Jr. is going to break free and he's taking that all the way to the house. Josh Allen responded back though, so that gives us a minute to at least get in field goal range, which shouldn't be too hard. For our kicker to make it, we need to get to the 42-yard line, and that's going to be less than a first down. All I have to do is find the open receiver, and the pocket did collapse on me. So it is third and 10, and for some reason, the clock just ran down to 10 seconds left. I am not sure why it did that. I need to find Mike Evans over the middle, and he holds onto it. He breaks free. Could he take this all the way to the house? No, he cannot. Luckily, I got the timeout off in time, but evidently, Chase McLaughlin missed it because they just ended the game, and it says there's 
there's no replay available for it, but it was literally a 27 yarder. Our undefeated run in the NFL has come to an end and so has it for every other team, but I don't care because right now I am second in the MVP race and I'm still leading the league in rushing yards. I also just unlocked this new Oakley visor, which I can't even see out of, but what's important is I'm able to finally upgrade my throw power again. And I don't understand what showdown abilities are, but I'm able to get this one called perfection. Honestly, I don't think there's a planet where we lose here to the Texans, but they've already gotten us to a third and 10. I love this corner strike play in NCAA football 14. We're about to see how it works in Madden and that's an easy first down. Mike Evans is on a corner route on this play. So if the camera angle wasn't so terrible, I would have probably thrown it to him. They left the middle wide open to scramble though. And what teams need to learn is if they don't throw a quarterback spy out there, I'm just going to take advantage of it. I'm honestly surprised CJ Stroud responded back with a touchdown, but I'm going to roll out, set my feet and Derek Stingley Jr. still played that ball. There is no way that should have been an interception. Come on. On. If we lose to the Texans, I am no longer going to be confident about our Super Bowl odds. And I broke two sacks here, but I can't get away. Everything has all come crumbling down so fast. And on the long third and 20, that might be another pick. But even though it wasn't near the end of the third quarter, we are trailing Houston 21 to 7. And I have no words. Nobody has been able to hold on to any balls, as you all can see right there. And I don't know if Superstar Mode has dynamic difficulty or what, but it feels like things just got 50 times harder for us. Thank goodness we're going to have a big play. And maybe we'll pull off a miracle come back in the fourth quarter. I'm going to open it up with some play action where the running back just didn't block. So on third and 19, we have no choice but to try to find Russell Gage over the middle and he does not hold on to it. Well, this fourth down is pretty much game for us. And again, the blitz comes in. We broke the sack. Mike Evans holds on to it, but he is short. So we're going to get a result that I was not expecting. I didn't even clear 100 rushing yards. So for this next one, I'm going to go with the plus two speed boost. We're a game behind in our division, so we really need to step it up. And on the first play of the game, I'm going to go for a large rush if it's available. There's nobody over here on this side. I'm going to take off. And with this spin move, it's going to look absolutely horrible. Evidently, I need to spend some upgrade points on that, but I can't escape the pocket this time. And it's taken me a little bit to get it going here, but I'm going to have Mike Evans over the middle and I hit the wrong button, but it doesn't matter. If I could just control what type of catches these receivers made, it would make my life 50 times easier. That's going to be an interception. I thought I was going to have a touchdown to Mike Evans there, but because our defense is so awesome or the Titans just stink, we are in a decent position. And look, at that roll out of the pocket. What a big game. I'm not sure if escape artist is still a thing in this game, but after it, I'm going to look into it because if I could get that, we'd be even better. And I always love a good halfback angle route. So I'm going to look for Rashid White and he is wide open. 53 seconds left in the second. We are up by one. The Titans went down the field and scored again. But you know what? I think we can get points as well. And if you're going to leave the middle of the field wide open, I'm going to take 25 yards. We are already all the way down to the 30 and on the corner route, that throw is going to be a bit off. But this time I'm going to set my feet, find my Mike Evans and get 20. If we want to break our two game losing streak, this is a massive third and goal for us. And I don't see anything open. I'm going to scramble and take it in. My legs have been by far the best part about using my player. And I'm just going to use them again as there's nobody out here on a quarterback spy. I might be able to make it all the way. But even though I wasn't, we are on the one yard line and that makes it super easy to finish it off. As a Colts fan, it's always nice to run up the score on the Titans. And we're going to continue to do that with another touchdown pass. And you could say I'm padding my stats at this point, but we still are in a close one and Mike Evans holds on to it. This has to be the best stat line I have ever finished a game with. So it's no surprise that I unlocked yet another visor. Chad Johnson has warned me that Nick Bosa is next up on the schedule. And since we're some of the top teams in the NFL, this should be a good one. I don't like that our first drive is starting on the one yard line, but here we are. And I just need to step up to avoid taking a safety. That was smart. But I'm glad coach realized that it's probably better to just hand the ball off in these types of situations. After taking a sack or two, I've realized that it's going to be almost impossible to move the ball on the 49ers. But on the bright side, their offense also sucks as they've not been able to score on either of their two drives. And I'm going to be able to take off for a huge rush here. That's all I had to do. Step up in the pocket and get the big game. Nick Bosa is also limping off the field with an injury. So my life should have just gotten a lot easier as now I have enough time to find the open receivers. With a couple bad throws though, we're going to have to take our three. And evidently Chase McLaughlin missed yet another easy field goal. With two minutes left in the first half, it is three to zero. And I wasn't expecting it to be this much of a defensive battle, but here we are. Fortunately, here in the third quarter, I think we're going to get the first touchdown of the game to Russell Gage. And recently I've noticed that I've done a bad job of force feeding the ball to Mike Evans. So that's what I'm going to do. And of course it works the second I start trying it. That was how I got stats earlier on in the year. But for some reason I went away from it and that slant's going to be wide open. Our defense has played so well that it is already over and the sun is out and bright in 49er stadium right now. I'm going to take this one all the way into the end zone, but I don't understand why the stadium's so bright now. I guess in this Madden, the weather can change mid game, which I think is pretty neat, but it's certainly been a little blinding and honestly I'm just going to roll out and find Russell Gage for another
another touchdown. Once I got into a little bit of a rhythm, we were able to pull away, and Nat says she has some good news about my new home. I was hoping for a cutscene, but I don't think we're gonna see it just yet. But it should be coming up soon, and next on the schedule is my favorite team, the Indianapolis Colts, where we have a plus three speed boost. If I'm being honest with you, all the cornerbacks on this team suck, so I should be able to beat them up. And there's just no way that they're gonna be stopping Mike Evans. Every so often, though, I still make mistakes, like a bad throw for five yards. And I don't know why our pass rush is all of a sudden so good, but I wish it was this way in real life. If we want to avoid getting embarrassed here, we need to end the first half with a touchdown drive. And with 13 seconds left in the half, I'm going to wait, look for Chris Godwin over the middle, and it's going to be knocked away. Coach is giving me one more shot to go for the end zone, so that's what I'm going to try to do, and it's going to work out. Rakeem Jarrett from Maryland came down with that, and I remember using that guy in NCAA football, so that was neat to see him in the NFL now. Rashid White is going to take that for a big game, but near the end of the third quarter, we are down by 10, and once again, we have to score. To do that, it's probably best if I just find Mike Evans, and of course he'll hold on to that, along with breaking a tackle and going down with the one. That'll make this quarterback sneak a guarantee, and the pressure is on because with two minutes remaining, we are trailing by six, so we need to go down the field and score a touchdown to win this. It always helps when I can take off on plays, but I need to get the ball out a little bit quicker because this is not the time for me to be taking sacks. Instead, I need to just find Mike Evans. I don't know what happened there, but one of the best wide receivers in the game just forgot to turn around. So it is third and 19, and I'm just gonna have to step up with my legs and hope that I can make it all the way to that first down marker. Fourth and three now. Let's hope that I can at least get a throw off to the GOAT and he holds on to the ball. So we're moving down the field a little bit better, but the clock is not on our side and I'm going for the sideline over to Mike Evans, but he stepped out of bounds instead of taking it into the end zone. Now I'm going to float this one up and what a throw. Raheem Moster of all players holds on to the ball and our kicker didn't blow this one. Statistically, I didn't play my best, but I was able to earn 2000 cred and that gets me halfway there to being able to unlock the gritty. I also learned that I'm able to reset my skill tree at any time, so I'm able to make my throw power in 84, and that means my bullet passes will now be super quick. I also noticed I can finally put on an X-Factor ability in pro reads, and if the playoffs were to start today, we'd be projected to be the one seed. To hold on to that spot, we need to make sure that we don't lose to the Panthers, and I don't understand how this team is 9-2. They scored on their first drive though, so they're coming out hungry, and they're also getting pressure in. On third down, I have no option but to just roll out and take off with myself. I didn't want to risk making a bad throw, and that's going to be a 24-yard game. The only good thing about being short is my little legs can get a lot done, and this is a sick play that Mike Evans holds on to. There is very few quarterbacks that can pull that one off, but I am one of them. And here on third and 10, you know whose direction I'm going to be looking on this corner route because he always creates enough separation. I have activated my X factor, and I'm not quite sure what it does, but I can't take a sack. But even though we didn't lose any yards, the game counts that as one, so I didn't even get to use it, but we have somebody open in the end zone. And of course, we all know who that ended up being. Our defense even forced Bryce Young into an interception, so we might be able to get more points if this throw on the run goes well. What a beautiful pass. Take the timeout and let's get our easy three. Once again, a turnover has put us in a fantastic position where we are always going to take advantage of it. And I don't know who's over there on that left side of the field trying to guard Mike Evans, but there's no way that they were going to keep up with him and he's going to take this all the way to the house. Once again, my X factor is now activated and it says it highlights the open receiver for me. So all I have to do is look around the field and see which button is getting highlighted. I'm going to take Chris Godwin on the drag for a huge gain and he breaks a tackle going for about 30. So you all are getting to see gameplay of the pro reads X factor. I'm pretty sure you've seen it in past Maddens, but it made my life better as I put up a pretty solid stat line. I also completed the 30 passing touchdowns in the season challenge, which is second most in the NFL. And in case you were wondering, I'm still leading the league in rushing yards. That puts me first in the MVP race for now, but I can't afford to make any mistakes against the Falcons. And that's much easier said than done because they're sending a lot of blitzes. I have had no time to get any throws off but for the first time, I'm going to move around in the pocket and I might be able to find Russell Gage. That was beautiful awareness. So this drive is going a lot better now and what a dot. Eventually, they're going to have to adapt because they're not putting quarterback spies out there, which makes my life a lot more simple. I can just take off for big gains. And then when they want to commit to stopping the run, I go with a little bit of a play action and try to get it out. I'm telling you all, I was not exaggerating about the heat they're sending my way, but I wish I was because it's made my life a lot more difficult. Going into the half, it's 14 to 10. And to start the third quarter, I'm just going to roll out here, throw it across my body for no reason. Chris Godwin's going to come down with it, and he is going to end up breaking the tackle. He's getting out of there. Is he going to take this all the way to the house? How did he make that happen? I still can't believe how lucky I got with where I got drafted. I mean, this receiving core is just unfair. And here on third and six, if we pick this up, we're going to seal it, and I'm just going to walk this one into the end zone. I rarely have a bad day running the ball, and I can confirm that all these things have gotten very repetitive at this point in the year. If we don't win these last four, though, we could lose our first round by to the 49ers. So I can't let Jordan
Jordan Love take us down, and I'm sure Mike Evans will make that pretty simple. With him back there, each of these drives has become a piece of cake as I just have to step up in the pocket, wait a little bit, and find him as he goes down at the five. It wasn't even difficult to get his X factor activated as I'm going to find him here, but for some reason the throw was off the mark, so it is fourth and goal, and I'll take it in. The Packers have done a good job of responding back, so we need to make sure that we don't waste this opportunity down here on the goal line, and I might as well just run it in again if he'd get out of my way. I don't like making reads when it gets this cluttered, but I know that I can go right to Russell Gage, and it seems to be a cheat code whenever I scramble, so on this play action pass, that's what I did, and I fought my way into the end zone. Earlier, I was not in a groove, but now I feel like I am in one, and I'm going to find the halfback on the wheel route, which turns into an interception. So I learned the hard way that that play does not work the same way it does in NCAA Football 14, but you know what? The read option does, and that is another touchdown. We ended up beating the Packers 42-13, to and because I've been getting some inaccurate throws under pressure, I'm going to upgrade this stat. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten a cutscene pop up in a while, but I think the new house is in the background, and I just don't see us losing this next one to the Jaguars. I'm ready to go ahead and get into the playoffs, so if anything important happens over the next few games, I'll make sure to let you all know and show you, but I have a feeling most of it's just going to be scoring a lot of touchdowns. Nearing the end of the third quarter, we have an 11 point lead, and I'm just going to increase it by finding Mike Evans on the slant for an easy touchdown. With my X Factor activated, I've had no issues working the ball down the field, and I'm just going to have another touchdown, so we're going to improve to 13 and 2 on the season. I also just reached level 15, so I've unlocked a gold ability slot, and there I'm going to put pressure cooker, which means I have a faster passing animation under pressure. I also have another showdown ability slot, but none of these four I'm even close to having enough stats in, but we're still going into our second game against the Saints a bit more upgraded, and it couldn't have gone better for us as I had an incredible performance. I'm spinning out of the tackle there on the read option. That's going to be another big game, but like always, there's going to be a holding penalty. Anyways, we still won 31 to 7, and I finished with over 400 total yards and four touchdowns. Going into the last week of the season, we should have pretty much clinched everything, so I'm not expecting to play much against the Panthers, but I guess we're not holding back anything at all as they have me out here on the field, and I'm assuming I'll have to play the entire game. It was close for most of the day, but I feel like we're going to pull away here at the end of the third quarter, and with my X Factor activated, it's just so simple to make reads as Chris Godwin is wide open. I padded my stats at the end, but I think it'll help me win MVP, and this is what the playoff picture looks like as we ended up getting a first round bye. I might not have finished the regular season with the most passing yards in the NFL, but I did finish with the most passing touchdowns, and I also led the league in rushing yards with over 2,000. Since we're on a bye week, I think we're going to get double boosts for all these stats. After the first week of results, we're going to have to play against the seven-seeded Eagles, and this is not going to be an easy one to win. I understand that I probably can't make any mistakes today, and I want to laser that cover three up the middle. So I've gotten us off to a good start, and I'm not going to lie, my favorite target in this game has been Irv Smith Jr., our tight end, because he keeps getting wide open. The Eagles don't seem to have an answer for him, and on this in route, I'm going to find him where he's going to just take it in. Our defense has already forced two stops, so as long as we don't screw up too much, we're already in a good position, and Russell Gage Jr. is going to make a big catch over the middle for about a 60 to 70 yard gain. For our third wide receiver, he has been fantastic. Sometimes the camera angle is a little bit weird, and we're flying down the field. The half should end with a touchdown on our part, and I'm just going to have to run it in. My X factor is now activated, and Mike Evans is as well, so if I mess this up, it is all on me, but I already lost one of them, and I really want to throw it up to Mike Evans. He's wide open. I'm not sure what happened there. His double me doesn't even need to activate, and he'll be able to take that into the end zone. No matter the game, a little bit of play action always seems to confuse the AI, and that is a double me opportunity over there. I'm just going to float it up. You know he's going to come down with it. This is too easy. I think this team has what it takes to win a Super Bowl. We'll see how it all pans out in the end, but I'm able to just find these open receivers, and it might have taken me a while to figure out how to run offense on Madden, but now that I've done it, I don't think I'm getting stopped. This is a crazy score for a playoff matchup, but all I can say is it was well-deserved in the end. I've made sure to upgrade my players so much throughout this video, and it's paid off as as long as we beat the Vikings, we're going to be in the Super Bowl. They're actually the original team I hoped I got drafted to, because having Justin Jefferson to throw to would have been so much fun, but I kind of prefer Mike Evans. He's been fantastic for us, and he's also not the only one as Russell Gage Jr. is wide open over the middle. You know he's going to break one tackle and continue to go. I just couldn't be more thankful for this landing spot, and it makes it even more sweet because I moved to Tampa recently. I'm not sure how to playmaker in this game, but that would have been very useful on something like that. Mike Evans still catches it. But after taking a bad sack, we find ourselves in a third and 18, and I have somebody open. I don't know if the throw is going to get there. It does. I will say, it's pretty obvious that I'm a college football YouTuber, as I've run the option so many times in this video. I just enjoy rushing with the quarterback, and because I do it so much, it makes play action extremely effective, where I'm just going to roll out, and I might as well take off along with just fighting my way in. At one point, we were struggling to move the ball. We were in some extreme 
extremely close games, but now we're just cruising down the field, and I don't know who we're going to end up facing in the Super Bowl, assuming we hold on, but I feel like we're going to have their number as we're up 21-3. to Kirk Cousins actually responded back extremely quick, but they also left time on the clock for me, and I thought getting in field goal range was going to be a guarantee, but they have us on a third and 10, and you know Mike Evans is going to eventually get open. You can't give me that much time in the pocket. It's probably best if we just take our three at this point, but I'm going to try to do something with my legs, and if I get enough blocks, I might make it, but you know what? I'll take the field goal instead. If we can finish this drive with a touchdown, I think it's going to be extremely hard for the Vikings to come back. That's a great throw, and as I continue to get more abilities and upgrade my stats even more, I'm not struggling at all. If it was ever even up for debate, I feel like I definitely deserve MVP, especially with the stat line that I have right now, and I'm just going to continue to add to that, assuming Mike Evans holds on to this ball. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are headed back to the Super Bowl, and I'm just going to run one last play to really rub it in as I'll just scramble. That might have been a disrespectful way to end it, but there's no way anybody can say I don't deserve MVP with that stat line, and with one more skill point available, I'm going to improve my throw on the run. I was hoping there'd be a cutscene for it, but I did end up winning MVP, and now it's time for the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, Patrick Mahomes scored on his first drive, so we need to respond back. Chris Jones is already getting in, and I don't like that I've taken a sack on the first play, but this time I'm going to step up in the pocket, and that's why they need a quarterback spot. I'm also in hurry-up mode because that's how I play NCAA football with the hurry-up offense. We have somebody wide open on the wheel route. That's going to go for a big game, and he breaks the tackle too. That's going into the end zone. Irv Smith Jr. is making plays for us, but evidently we also missed our extra point, so I'm not sure what's going on today. Both teams have missed their extra point. We're on the one-yard line. We are going to scramble out of there easily, and if Rasheed White's going to be open in the flat, I will make sure I take that on every single play. That was an action-packed first quarter, but it also flew by pretty quickly, and with the play action on this one, you know Mike Evans is always going to create enough separation. Well, 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 they are pressing Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. We all know that that is not going to work. You cannot stop both of them, but the Chiefs are not going to go away without a fight. They already scored, making it 13-13, to and now I need to have a good drive here. I'm going to spin out of that one, but about a minute later, we found ourselves in a third and eight situation. I'm going to have to wait for this one to develop, and it's knocked down. That is the first time we've been stopped in weeks, but our defense bails us out by forcing a huge turnover, and if I can't capitalize on this, then I am a terrible quarterback. Here with about 45 seconds left in the first half, we're on the five-yard line, and I'm going to try to go down before the end zone to burn clock, and that went perfectly for us as the quarterback sneak is going to get in. Well, we got ball to start the second half, but it is a third and five, and I'm just going to take off with myself. I know that I'm able to pick it up with my legs, and from this angle, I'm still a little bit scared to make some passes because I don't know exactly how it'll go. The player lock can kind of get into your head sometimes, but the tight end's going to be wide open. You know I'm going to find Irv Smith Jr., but the Chiefs responded back with a quick touchdown, keeping it within one possession, so you know I'm going to have to find those tight windows to Russell Gage. That was enough to get my X Factor to activate, so the open receiver is always going to be highlighted, and now we find ourselves in a position where we should be trying to run down as much clock as possible. Here on third and six, we cannot afford to not pick this one up. I'm waiting for the highlight, and I didn't throw it in time. My reaction time just isn't that good. I'm putting people in a spin cycle, though, and I think it's safe to say Kansas City is in a lot of trouble. We've already hit the two-minute warning, and if they want to come back, they're going to have to burn through timeouts and get an onside kick. Somehow I glitched through, though, and of course, I had to take it into the end zone. The Chiefs did score after that, but they didn't get the onside kick, so all we have to do is run one more play, and that means we are Super Bowl champions. My team is raising me up as I carried us to this point, and I have the Super Bowl trophy in my hand here. I think it's pretty safe to assume that I won Super Bowl MVP, and now I'm curious to see what happens after I advance the week. The first thing we get is a nice little recap screen where you can see that I dominated, and I guess it's just going to take me through all the periods that would be in a normal franchise. Now we've returned to the preseason screen, but I do have one more cut scene, and it looks like I can change which brand I rep, so I'm going to go with Nike. I achieved my goal of winning a Super Bowl, though, along with upgrading my player pretty far, so that is going to end the video right here, but if you want to see me play the other half of Superstar Mode Showdown in the future, make sure to let me know in the comments, and if you like this video but you've not seen my college football content yet, I'd say this is a great one to start out with watching.